Well, a very salbury Wednesday to all of you, and I hope you've had a very salbury week. Uh, welcome back to Grand Prix World and the Sauber playthrough, obviously. Um, so, we are here for round nine and beyond um, of the 1998 season. A lot of things are already in place. We've actually managed to renew our contract with Red Bull, which is pretty good. That means we've got a solid budget for next year. And we're closing in on an engine deal I didn't think I'd go after, actually, which is uh, Peugeot, uh, because they are offering a two-season works deal for 10.6 million. Big cash books, that's what we want. Thanks very much, Lee. Um, I'm going to take 5% uh, off the Agip deal because that's signed now. I'm going to pump up um, the Peugeot deal and try and get that tied out very quickly. Design work for next year's car is not going the best. Um, we don't have many rounds left, to be honest. Um, what I'm going to do is drop some people off the update package for this season's car and move focus onto next year's car completely. Um, if we run round 9 and 10 here, 11, 12, 13, 14, that gives us two rounds to build at least two cars, so not too bad. Got some updates for the factory, CAD CAM and supercomputer are all under construction, should be ready fairly soon. Taking a look at hospitality, we're bringing Patronus and Intercond along, trying to get those deals done um, before the end of the season. And uh, we left it last time with everything repaired, testing done, so we can dive straight in to uh, the British Grand Prix. Everyone's unhappy in the team. We are underperforming, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to give equal focus on the setup front. We have uh, no fancy um, tyre upgrades or anything else because we are a customer with no bonuses, so they're not actually obligated to give us uh, updates, but they sometimes do for like the last race or two, where it does you no good at all. Okay, 16 degrees cloudy with a strong wind in quali. That should help us with engine power. Let's see where we end up. Johnny Herbert takes 12th position, uh, ahead of teammate John Lacey in P16. We are separated by two stewards and an arrows. Meanwhile, at uh, the fun end of the party, Eddie Irvine takes pole for Ferrari, a 123.529. Uh, pretty close at the front between him and uh, David Coulthard and Michael Schumacher. Uh, Wurtz, Frentzen and Fizzy Keller round out your top six. Nice. Uh, a bit hotter, 4 degrees hotter on race day, still cloudy with a strong wind. We will give fresh boots to both cars and it will be 2.30 lap stints for Herbert on the hard compound, hopefully allowing him to move forward a little bit, but it seems um, unlikely without some serious attrition that points are on the card, but you never know. Oh, you do never know. Look at that. Johnny Herbert brings it home in P4. What a boss. Um, the win goes to Mika Hakkinen for McLaren. Uh, Johnny Newhouse for Williams and David Coulthard for McLaren. Keeping company up on the podium. In the points, it's ourselves with Johnny Herbert. Pedro Diniz's arrows takes P5. And Damon Hill takes the last point uh, for Jordan. John Lacey brings it home one lap down in P9. Behind the arrows of Sarlo and uh, Rubens Barrichello Stewart. Unfortunate. In the Drivers' Championship, uh, Mika Hakkinen still leads 39 points, Newhouse and Frentzen are tied 32 points apiece. Um, Johnny Herbert now on the board with 3 points. That means uh, we are currently 7th in the Constructors, 1 point behind Arrows. Maybe if we're lucky we can close that gap. Um, P6 I think would be an acceptable start. Okay, what's going on in the news? Uh, insiders claim that we're running out of money. We're not actually running out of money. We are losing money, but we're not going to run out. Uh, anything important? Oh, Intercond have signed with Tyrrell. That sucks. And McLaren have uh, a work deal with Bridgestone. Uh, Giancarlo Fisichella disqualified from the last Grand Prix due to uh, an illegal driver aid. 
Arrows have signed Stefan Sarazan. Prost will be a customer of Elf. Jörg Muller will be driving for Tyrrell. Um, any other big news? Just looking for the big news now. No, nothing big except um, Danker signing with Williams. That's a five-star sponsor for them, so pretty, pretty good deal. Let's take a look. I'll sell another 3% of the team, just top up the coffers there. Let's see if we're getting anywhere. No improvement on the Peugeot deal. We do though have a two season partnership deal now with Goodyear. That's excellent news. I'm going to leave 5% on that deal, see if we can't sweeten it a little bit. Maybe 10 actually. In terms of money, are we getting anywhere with anybody? Uh, I'm going to put this extra 10% on Patronus. What about anyone else? Fond Metal? No, no interest from those guys. And I believe we were talking to Magneti Morelli, but I think... Yeah, no progress there either. So really, um, it's, it's the engine um, that takes focus now. I'm going to bring Magneti Morelli to the next Grand Prix. I'm going to carry on doing uh, hospitality, even though it's probably not the best use of our resources. Um, <clears throat> I want to try and close out some, some deals. I want to have sponsors on the car. That said, um, we're already better off uh, next year than we have been this year, so that's quite a, a big deal for us anyway. Cars are in fairly worn condition. Kel Surprise. We can build five spare parts which we shall do. Um, I'm not sure... Uh, sorry, four spare parts. Idiot. Learn to count. I think it's fine to wait another round, actually, and fill up this bar, but that's encouraging. Um, I'll give that a little bit longer. Not much, but a little bit. In terms of regulations, what's going on with technology next year? Have they said? They have not said. <clears throat> okay, that means it's unclear whether it's actually worth investing in any of this. Um, we shall see. Uh, staff, that's what I wanted to look at. Let's see if there's anyone worth hiring. Doesn't really look like it, although we can pick up some more construction staff. It's good to have plenty of fabricators just to make sure we can bang out the spare parts. Um, testing. We will do some testing, but it will be limited testing. Um, I will limit testing to about 100 miles total, maybe. Um, actually, no, let's bump it. If we're going to do it, let's do it properly. £200,000 worth of testing. Um, yeah, I think that's reasonable. Jörg Muller will not be testing because his car is too worn. Why don't we bring him back into the game? There we go. Again, just because it makes sense. If we're going to run, let's run. Yeah, we're going to have to do another test to get uh, the development points that we were hoping for, but that's fine. In the meantime, let's repair some cars. There is going to be uh, wear on car too, but again, not the end of the world by any stretch of the imagination. Everything else looks to be pretty much in order. We can just cruise through to the end of the season now and hope that everything comes together. It's good to be getting the setup points, to be quite frank. Um, I think it's uh, going to help us get more out of the limited package we've got. We've received a new power unit, which is better on rigidity and heat. Not a huge help, Ferrari, but thanks anyway. Appreciated. We'll put the new power unit in both cars um, because it should provide a reliability improvement through the uh, rigidity. 
Let's see. 23 degrees dry. What can we do in qualifying with this new power unit? Probably not much, I suspect. 12th and 13th, uh, about where we would expect to be, so that's not too bad. Great day at the races for Benetton, though. Alexander Wurtz is your pole sitter. Uh, Giancarlo Fisichella is teammate, keeping him company on the front row. It's a Newhouse and Coulthard second row, uh, ahead of Hakkinen and Schumacher. Uh, Irvine and Frentzen, then the two Jordans side by side. And then 11th and 12th, uh, Mika Salo in the Arrows and John Alacy in our Sauber. Down at the bottom, everyone qualifies. It's all fun here, we're all friends. 22 degrees and cloudy for race day. Um, I'm going to again give uh, unrun tyres to Alacy. Meanwhile, it will be a 36 35 um, for the Johnny Herbert. I'm beginning to think, though, maybe. Later in the season, I'll try running both cars on the hard compound tyre, because we seem to be doing better on the hards, generally. Yeah, again, we've done... Well, actually, it's hard to say, because uh, we had a hydraulic failure on John Lacey's uh, car, so he fails to make the finish. Meanwhile, Johnny Herbert holds on for 10th position. Um... The cars that were behind us have stayed behind us, and the cars that were in front of us stayed in front of us, so... We can't really be too disappointed by that, and we finish on the same lap as the leader. Meanwhile, uh, it's a McLaren 1-2 Coulthard leading home Hakkinen. The Benetton's dropping back um, over the course of the race from their strong quality pace, only able to finish 4th and 7th. Um, two, for, two Williams in the points, two McLarens in the points, a Benetton and a Ferrari. Bad show there, Benetton. 45 points... Uh, is the total of Mika Hakkinen, your current points leader. Four points clear of teammate David Coulthard, uh, the Williams boys following behind. That means, uh, as one would expect, in the constructors, McLaren sit atop the pile, Williams uh, behind them, uh, seven points ahead of Ferrari in third. Wow, we lost a lot of money at that Grand Prix, a lot of money, and we haven't signed that deal yet. That's sucky. Magneti Morelli have screwed us over and signed with somebody else, as have Patronus. Um, that leaves us with Fond Metal. Um, is there anyone else we could realistically talk to with this much time left? Probably not. So what I'm going to do is go after... Um, I'm going to go after British Aerospace. And I'm going to go after... Uh, Telecom Italia. And let's just see if we can achieve anything. Um, I'm going to kick Patronus and Magneti Morelli out from the hospitality area. Bring these two along. Um, I'm going to cut spending. And uh, we will be selling some more of the team. For obvious reasons. For what I hope are obvious reasons. Uh, we will be good with money uh, from next season. It's just our drivers are super expensive and, and firing them is even more expensive. Any big news? Ferrari have signed a works deal with Ford and uh, Jordan have picked up a works deal with Goodyear. Uh, Shell and Williams have entered into a works partnership as well. Magneti Morelli went to Stewart in the end while Patronus went to Prost. Uh, Sauber and Goodyear will be partners next year. Um, Prost have also signed Andrea Montemini. Uh, the rest of the sponsors hoovered up by various people up and down the grid. Indeed. Right then. Right. Well, good news is, 1999 car has completed two design stages. Pretty smashing, if you ask me. Which I know you didn't. Um, let's run a wee test. Same parameters as last time. Nice. Spend those development points. And we will build our update package for this year's car. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Next step. We need our uh, four spare parts to get our cars up and running. Um, how much damage is there on... 
a lazy's car. Oh, but that's fine, it's offset because he only has very limited amounts of wear. So we can get by with four, and then hopefully there's enough manpower left to complete our upgrade package for both cars. And the car should run a little bit better. Um, it's not going to be a quantum leap forward, but it's a fairly cheap update, actually. And um, it should enable us to get a little bit more, a little bit more out. So we'll take the damage off car one, take the wear off car one. And we're going to go drop into debt between races, but uh, we will sell some more of the team on the other side. Just want to see if the price goes up any. Alrighty then. Um, probably going to stop testing at this point as well, um, given that it's not really going to yield any benefits now. Everything else is sorted and arranged. Uh, yeah. Our money has gone up, so we are now making 22.26 million from Red Bull, and hopefully we get that guaranteed. That would be super sweet. And we're very, very close to this works deal now with Peugeot. Um, I'd accept a partnership deal, but for two seasons, I'd really rather have a works. Let's see what happens. So... Again, no favoritism in terms of um, setup. No new engine, no new tyres. Um, it does make me wonder if I shouldn't run both cars on the hard compound. And I think, do you know what? I think I might. We seem to be getting better performance out of the car in mo more cases when we run the hard compound. So um, let's try it. 25 degrees and very dry with a strong wind for qualifying. We'll probably be off the pace here because we're both on hard compounds, but actually a Lacey brings it home P10. That's not bad at all. Uh, Herbert in P15. Uh, your pole sitter is Michael Schumacher in his Ferrari ahead of the McLarens of Coulthard and Hakkinen. Ferrari completes the Ferrari sandwich in P4. 26 degrees and very dry with a strong wind on race day. Okay, we'll be pitting um, a Lacey first lap 22 and he'll do a 23 lap final stint and we will pit Herbert lap 23 and I'm hoping one stopping both cars allows us to make a run on some points maybe um, again it's not necessarily a excessively long pit stop here in Germany so who knows it does work look at that look at that um, that could be the upgrade, the new engine, and the tyre choice all working in conjunction, but David Coulthard is your race winner for McLaren ahead of Mika Hakkinen and Johnny Newhouse on the podium with him. However, we bring home double points, P4 and P5, a Lacey leading home Herbert by quite some distance actually, about 14 seconds, but still. P4 and P5 puts us ahead of Alexander Wurtz in P6. And did we lose any big players really? Not really. Frentzen to an engine failure, Fisichella to an accident, but other than that, the cars were ones that would eventually have finished behind us anyway, so that's actually quite a good indication of our pace here. Pleasing. Uh, Mika Hakkinen and David Coulthard are now locked firmly in a battle for the Drivers' Championship. 51 points apiece. Uh, Johnny Newhouse sits in third on 37. Herbert and Alacy now both on the board, and that moves us up nicely to P6, four points clear of arrows. Meanwhile, the Constructors looks all but done. McLaren on 102 to Williams, measly and somewhat tragic 71. Okay, round 12, Hungary. We are not in the red, which is good, but we have lost a significant amount of money. Um, we need to finish... Yeah, we need to finish this after the next round. So, okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay on car development. That's pleasing. Let's see if we've tied up that deal. Oh, so close. Um, meanwhile, things are not going well in sponsor land. Uh, I'm guessing that's... Um, I'm, yeah, that will be Telecom Italia then that I've signed with someone else. Sorry, British Aerospace. And is it... Yes, it was British Aerospace. 
I'm going to put some more points onto this because it's a two season deal. Never hurts. And see if there's any one stars left. Uh, good old Komatsu. Let's bring you along. Uh, meanwhile, do we have any guarantees from Red Bull? Not yet, but maybe we can sweeten them up a little bit. Wouldn't that be sweet? I'm actually going to bring Fun Metal along because it's it's more money. Um, but that's all good. That's all good. Would like to have a little bit more on the go. Let's take a look at the staffing situation. Anyone to sign? There is not. But we can again improve the construction department. Um, we're going to have to sell some more shares in the team, but that's good because the share price has boosted. Excellent. And the rest of the share capital I'm going to save because um, we need it to build cars for next year. <clears throat> because our 98 car is definitely not legal. Um, I'm going to run no testing um, for the next round. It's going to upset our drivers, but they're upset anyway. So not really much to, um, to worry about. Okay. I think I think we're all good. I think we're all good. The game though is starting to lag on me again. I'm getting some frame rate issues, so I will call it here. And uh, before the end of the week, we'll finish the season uh, over here on uh, on the Sauber Show. You guys take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll be back soon with some Tyrrell time. Pip pip.